All right. This set of front forks is from an old Honda, late 70s. And this set of forks is from an old RM125, big boys. And this set of forks is from an old Yamaha 650 twin. My point is this, no matter what the make or the model, bog standard motorcycle forks, they're pretty much all the same. Sure, they may vary in length and diameter, but all the main parts are quite similar. So if you want to see how to change out a leaking oil seal in a standard upright fork, well, just keep watching and I'll show you how to do it up close and in detail. All right, let's go. Hey, before you take the forks out of your bike, loosen off the top cap while it's still mounted in the triple tree. You'd be glad you did. And don't forget to loosen off this top clamp just a little bit because it's pinching really tight on the top of that fork and makes it difficult to back off that top cap. Okay? Okay, the forks we're working on are these 38 millimeter Pioli's from an 06 Sherco right here. First thing to do is back off the damper retaining screw. Don't take it out, there'll be oil everywhere. Just back it off. Now we're gonna take off the top cap, but before we do that, remove as much preload out of that spring as possible because there could be a considerable amount of tension in that spring on these forks. Whatever you do, don't stick your face over top of this as you're taking it off. Ah! You take your head off. So to avoid that migraine, Put a rag over it and gently unscrew the thing and capture it with the rag. There you go. Now there's the top cap and then start pulling out the spacers. Uh, there could be one, there could be two, they might be metal, they might be plastic. Just take them out. Next thing up, it gets messy here, you're going to remove the spring. So get yourself a tray, pull out the spring and yeah, just take control of that. Now start pumping out the damper so you can remove all of the oil. Back off the damper screw and that thing should just slide out it's right there. Okay, put that to one side. Next up is the dust cap or dust seal. You can just pry that off gently. It's not too, too tight to get that off. Slide that thing off. Okay, now that exposes the seal and the seal clip. This, this retaining clip sits in a groove just like that right there. It's easy to pry out and it just unclips. Now to get this apart, just use a slide hammer style action because the only thing holding this together is the friction of that seal sitting in the bottom lower leg. Now when you take them off, pay attention to the top and bottom of the seal. They do have an orientation. Then there's a washer, mine's cupped, yours might be flat. Just pay attention to that if that's the case. Then the upper bushing, you can see this one's a little worn, it's not too bad. And then with the lower bushing, it sits in a recess in the bottom of that slider. Just pry it open, slide it off. Easy. Hey, looking good. We're halfway there. I just finished cleaning off all those old parts. Go get some new seals. Find some fresh fork oil. And let's put this thing back together. All right, let's go. Okay, grab that lower bushing, snap it in place and then drop that assembly into the lower leg. Fits nicely. Now you got that upper bushing. That thing's gonna sit in a recess and needs to have a driver to pound it in. And you can make one out of a hunk of pipe, a little bit of plastic, line that pipe so it doesn't scratch the hell out of your slider. Pound it in place, you're good to go. You can see it's diamond, beautiful. Now grab that upper washer. This one's cupped, cup side goes up. Okay. Next up, the seals. Now these things are such a tight fit, you need to really lube them up. Get a lot of oil on there, make them super slippery. It can't be slippery enough. All right, the top edge of this is pretty sharp and you could cut the seal when you're sliding it on. So some guys will use a plastic bag or tape, but these things are mint. Now I know you got them kicking around, just check your wallet, maybe the glove box in your car, or your girlfriend's purse, or even that weird bottomless junk drawer in the kitchen that has everything. Slide on one, maybe two, could even use three. Can't have enough protection, am I right guys? Now watch how easy this seal goes on. A little bit of pressure, no chance of cutting it. Perfect. Slide it down. Nice. Just cut away the extra. You're all good. Remember, don't use the ribbed ones. They're no good for this. All right, we're going to use this Bike Master seal driver. These things are designed perfectly to fit on top of that seal. With that beveled edge and the way it seats onto the upper lip of that seal, you're going to have no damage at all. 
This is an adjustable one from 32 to 47 millimeter. Just slide it in place, start hammering. Now sure, you can make your own out of a hunk of pipe and a bit of plastic, and it'd probably work. But I'm telling you, these are well worth the investment. It'll save you a lot of time in aggro. All right, seal looks good, it's in place. Now grab that clip, and just drop it in place. And all you gotta do is force it into that little recess like we showed you before. Perfect. Then grab your dust seal, drop that in place. You can give it a little lube and slide it in place. It's perfect. Nice. Okay, next up, all we got to do is drop in that damp. Just make sure everything's clean, looks good. Drop it in place. Yeah. Okay, find that damper bolt. Make sure you still got the washer on there and just snug it up. Okay, now grab your manual and have a quick look and see what it recommends for the weight and the amount of oil required for each fork. And grab a funnel, grab a beaker, and start pouring. Try to be as accurate as you can. You want to get exactly the same amount of oil in each fork. Just make them the same. Okay, pump that slider up and down to fill all the nooks and crannies in that damper rod. Because sometimes they'll express the amount of oil required as an air gap. It'll be a fully collapsed fork, so from the surface of the oil to the top edge of the fork. And it's a nice way to compare um, each leg too. All right, now just drop in your spring, and then you can pull up that slider, give yourself some more space to hold the bits. Put in your spacers. Now that's the short one. Go up a little more and then the long one. Now we're ready for the top cap. Just grab that and because the preload's backed off, it should go on pretty easy. Snug it down as best you can for now. Save the final torque for when it's mounted on the bike in the triple tree. Okay, good job. That's pretty easy, right? Now go finish the other fork, stick it on your bike, and maybe go for a ride. And remember, the next time your bike needs fixing, you can always try and learn to do it yourself. Because when you stop learning, you start dying. All right, I got stuff to do. See ya.